Hi, Jamil here, the Barefoot Queen, and today is day four of breaking up with the ugly. Today is when we get to have fun. I'm not going to talk about the past. I'm not going to talk about, you know, day one unpacking. I'm not going to talk about forgiving, gratitude, all that stuff. Now it's on the past. If you did your work, you are ready to do something new and something exciting and bring something to your life. So one of the things that uh, I do when I'm ready to create something new, something, you know, completely like exactly what I want in my life to replace the stuff that I just let go, um, it's first of all, truly get to know what your vision is, right? So one of the things that I do, and actually I'm gonna have a video just on this because it's so important, is called scripting. So when you do scripting, you want to um, basically write a letter and that letter is going to be what you, you know, kind of in the present mode and it's going to be uh, something that you're going to read. You should be reading it every day, at least 21 days. I like to read mine in the morning, but if you didn't have time in the morning, then do it at night before you go to bed. So I'm gonna write to, read to you mine for uh, this cycle. And um, so I wrote it to my mom, cause she's my spirit, you know, she's in spirit and I know that she's listening to me and protecting me. So I say, dear mom, I am so happy and grateful now that I'm earning $20,000 a month easily and from different sources. I love how I can now pay all our bills on time, have money saved and do whatever I want to do. I have so much fun planning our next trip to Puerto Rico. I love how I can now buy anything I want without checking my bank account. <laughs> I take the girls out frequently in my Buick and Clave. That's the car that I want now. Crystal is doing well in her own business and is loving her life. That's my adult child. I love myself so much and people around me and my clients. And the reason why I put that on there, because everything starts with you. You have to love yourself. That is so important because if you don't love yourself, you'll start something and you won't complete it because you don't love yourself. There's more stuff coming about that, but, um, other videos, um, I have the best clients that love and support me. My businesses are running smoothly and growing every day. I am eating healthy, exercising and meditating daily. My mommy makeover surgery was a success and I feel and look amazing. I love that I'm no longer in medications. Oh, no longer need medications. And then I put, thank you, thank you, thank you, yay. So I read this every day, this part of my creating process. And um, I started this on the 11th. And so I read it every day. And I, you know, the secret to manifesting or getting anything you want is feeling. You want to, put in that feeling it's not just reading you know like blah 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 you want to definitely get that feeling that joy that wow what would it feel like to have you know make twenty thousand dollars a month or whatever income you want and truly getting in the groove of that you know what would it feel like to just go shopping and not have to look at the bank account you know not have to just go you know to the you know, be able to go to any store they want and see something on the window. Oh, let me check it out. You know, and, and know that if you want, it can be yours. You know, got, getting to that vibration. It is so important. It's so good. You got to get to that feeling, you know, fake it till you make it. It's kind of true. Just don't get into depth, you know, but, but it is, uh, it is one of my manifesting tools that I use. And, you know, it's, it's, it's I definitely, definitely, recommend it so that you can start creating and crafting, you know, the next stage of your life, right? Now that you're clear with the state. Another tool, and I'm sure you guys have, you know, seen many videos about this and whatnot, so I'm not gonna go too deeply into it, but uh, vision boards. So I'm gonna show you one. This is from actually right before COVID. So a lot of this stuff couldn't come true for obvious reasons, but so this is still manifest. It's actually the Buick and Clave that I want with the double sunroof. That's really what I want. This, you know, the cruise didn't come true, obvious reasons. This happened like almost immediately. Like actually, I think this is from two years ago, I think. Anyway, um, this became almost immediately. My daughter uh, wanted to do gymnastics and whatnot. And 
um, at that point, I wasn't sure how I was going to afford it, but it just all happened so, you know, majestically. And, and she started placing in competitions and stuff. This, uh, my other daughter, my other twin, loves pandas. And so we're planning a trip to Atlanta so that she can see them. But because of COVID, again, it got delayed. Um, what else do I have here? Okay, so... I know I have one here. Yeah, yeah, this is coming like the you know the mommy makeover kind of surgery. And then my hair, my hair is definitely not that color, but it's very healthy as you can see. Uh it wasn't like that. I was actually going bald when I took this and put it on here. So I mean that's huge. The fact that I have a lot of hair, I don't barely have any bald spots anymore, you know, but I was going bald. I, I had from all the stress, from my mom being sick and all that, you know, a lot of bald spots. This definitely, uh, cause I kind of wanted to find my style. I was um, not the best dresser to be honest. So uh, this kind of helped me to figure out. And, and you know, all the handbags is funny cause when I did this about, I think it was not even a week later, a friend of mine gave me a huge, two bags full of coach bags with all different colors. I still have quite a few. And uh, it was so just amazing because I was able to actually, you know, put outfits together with nice designer handbags. Um, I mean, that bag right there, she gave it to me, which is crazy. So you never know where the blessings are coming from. You know, that is so powerful. Um, this, having a team, I now have a team this about books and stuff the girls actually started enjoying reading which was something i was worried about and these about you know being focused about you know growing the business and whatnot this right here i have it now in my family in my living room in in the house of my dreams that i live in now so yeah this came to of course this didn't because of the, tra the traveling circumstances so this is something that you should definitely even teach your children to do. So this is my daughter's, this is Annabella's. And this is definitely her aesthetic in the bedroom, almost to a T. Um, she has, she got that. Um, we got little planters and pots in white, like that on the wall, um, the curtains look very similar to this uh this is the only thing that we haven't done she did have a rug uh actually dania did this in her room she got this actually i have one and she has one i think hers broke now but yeah she got an ipad <laughs> like uh, maybe a couple of months after this she got an ipad and actually she actually has a laptop too so she has an ipad a laptop and she has a desk with a chair and yeah, this right here, she has that. So it is incredible how, you know, having a vision, you gotta have a vision. You gotta know what you want, right? So this year's, this is what I want. Um, so for this year, I definitely want that perfume. Coco Chanel is my favorite. Um, I kind of, I'm like, you know, like what I'm creating here to be completely, absolutely honest with you, um, the belly dance, the, not the belly dance, I belly dance. So that's why that's come from the barefoot queen. Um, it's not yet defined. I am making videos. I'm posting them. I'm posting stuff on my, on Facebook, but I haven't like, I don't, I am going, I'm guided by God in spirit. I am not, like, I know it will be monetized at one point, and I do, I mean, I sell journals, you know, I sell journals and I sell actually manifesting bottles, and I'll make another video about this, how I use that to manifest, but, um, but you know, so I, I am creating some products, I'm having some products, and um, I, right now, just giving all my content for free, because I have a vision, and I just honestly I want to create a tribe of people that like what I'm doing and follow me and 
I want to start seeing comments of people that this has helped them. So I just want to see if there's an audience for it, to be honest, and kind of just being myself, putting it out there, you know, and seeing if this benefits anybody and if there's anybody that wants to listen to a good old Puerto Rican, you know, from the projects, you know, living in a five bedroom house. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm just, you know, I just, um, I'm just being guided. I'm just going to put content out there. My goal, I, I have a few goals and I'm just going to show them here. Um, but my goal is eventually to maybe write, uh, do some one-on-one, -on -one, uh, coaching. I want to do some group coaching, you know, and also like online coaching, right? Um, I do want to travel the world. I do want to empower groups, companies, you know, MLMs, you know, anybody that needs out there, like needs some kind of motivation to get off the muck. And, um, cause I, I love talking about that. I can talk about that all day long. So I do hope that I get to do that. And then, you know, this is kind of like the aesthetic. I finally figured out my style and my colors actually I did like a color, uh, an analysis. So now that's why you kind of see me with autumn colors. Cause that's kind of my aesthetic. This is for a book. I do want to write a book. And this is because, you know, hey, I may be old, but I do kind of want to have some kind of passionate love. And then, of course, you know, the money, the bank. This, um, I love where I live. I really don't want to move, but it would be nice to kind of visit a place like that, you know, that feels totally grand and with a pool in the background and that sort of thing. I love where I live. I absolutely don't want to move. But, you know, but just to be able to travel to a place like that, like a resort. So that kind of, that's what it represents. And then, of course, this is the tribe that I was talking about, kind of, you know, helping women or men, doesn't matter to me the gender, but just to have a, a group of people that I'm impacting and that I'm helping. That's, that's my goal, more than even money. Like, yeah, money is important and I'll be talking a lot in my videos about money, but, um, but I want to have an impact. I want to leave a legacy. I want to that uh, when I'm no longer here that my girls can say, my mom helped so many people. You know, that's truly what I want. I want them to be so proud of me and that, you know, there's a legacy out there. There's, there's an impact. I want to leave an impact in the world. That's truly what I want. So, um, so yeah, so, okay. So let's talk about strategy. So number one, strategy number one scripting it is truly amazing it is transformative if i do i like to do it in the morning because it kind of sets my day um you know it puts me in the right like yes this is my intention you know this is not going to be a day that is going to just bye bye i'm going to look at things and this is actually going to this is what it does for example me about the i'm eating healthy you know i started actually doing the green smoothies in the morning and like it's it, and it happened without work. Like out of the blue, I had an idea like, oh, you know what I should do some, since I don't get a lot of vegetables and stuff, um, I should do some some smoothies, like green smoothies. I love those. So, and then I just went to a store, got the stuff. Like it was like organic. It was not like, oh my God, I got it. You know, it becomes like, you're almost like a working vortex. Like it's just like, you look at things and like, oh, you know, I wonder that and then one day I'm gonna look back and I'm gonna say ah that's why I started doing that because I put it on here so anyway um, scripting the other one is the vision board and if you don't do a vision board I recommend this if you have one main goal and you put it like on a frame okay a picture of it representing this is not the house that I moved in <laughs> But I want to cry because it is technically the same layout where, you know, windows, windows, the door, the garage, like in the same direction, different color, but the same kind of direction. This was from a, a complex and a new house. This was not the house for us. Um, it only had three bedrooms and uh, no, it had, yeah, three bedrooms and then the office was downstairs which I really wanted that, but the laundry room was in the ground floor. I always wanted it on the second floor. So this, you know, and it was not five bedrooms. Like it didn't have, the bedroom was not as big as this one's and my bathroom was a lot smaller than this one. So I am very happy where I am now. I have been super blessed. So, but this kind of was my intention to move. And then, and one of the things that you want to do when you're manifesting, when you're trying to work things out, besides the feeling, right? Feeling 
like imagine yourself you know if you ever watch the secret the movie i recommend it it's on netflix um i believe still there and um you know and anything from Rhonda barnes is fantastic but you want to, uh in that movie they put about um somebody driving you know like in their imagination the car and it felt so real and that's where you want to be like i saw myself opening the door to my house you know to a house i was living in an apartment when this happened and i could see myself and the smells of the house and you know in the kitchen and i mean even the kitchen is to the left and this house it would have been to the left too um you know in, in the kitchen and then this going up the stairs and going to my bedroom and you know i i kept seeing myself uh doing the stuff you know like actually how it would be decorated and a lot of the ideas that I had back then, I did implement in this house. And actually even better, it came out even better. So, you you know, you have to understand that sometimes what we want is not the same that God has in store for us. And so many times God has much better stuff for us in store. And you just have to stay within that flexibility, you know? You want to stay in that groove. Like, all right, God, I kind of want this, but you know what? I leave it up to you, you know? I, I I believe that manifesting is like ordering from Amazon, but leaving Amazon a little bit of leeway, okay? Um, you know, and or, or maybe actually like Instacart. You know, Instacart, you order from them, but if they don't have what you order, they cannot find it on the shelf, they'll send you alternatives. Like, okay, so that, they didn't have the green apples, but they have the red apples and the gala. They're okay, is that okay to switch them? And I think that that's what happens, you know, and then eventually, and then you're like, oh, okay, they got a, a great apples, damn, now I know, you know, and I think that that's how life is, like Instacart, that you get to order, you, you send a message to the universe, to God, and then it kind of figures out what works out best for you, and also the path of least resistance. So, and that's a video I'm gonna be talking about, how we create resistance to what's coming to us which stops the whole process the creating co-creating process with god so and that's going to be a whole video on its own because there's a lot to do about that but this is you know I, I think that this is a fun way to you know start creating and, and working on your um you know crafting your new future crafting your you know your your stuff and uh, so the next video i'm going to talk about new energy and how to stay high energy and how even though i mean stuff happens how do we push that up how do we stay up how do we you know we understand that whatever is happening is down here but our energy is way up there nothing can affect it and we know that what we want is coming and that's it you know you know what i mean i hope so all right so i'll see you on the next video uh that's gonna be day five and the last video is going to be day six is about what's next um i'm going to wrap up the whole concept the whole series and then um i'm going to announce what's what's the next series that i'm going to create and um i think it's going to be amazing and remember to like this video share our channel with other people so that we can bless him as well. Mwah. Thank you. You have a blessed day. And until the next video. Bye.